General Dwight David Eisenhower, Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Allied Invasion Forces, is himself invaded by British and American war correspondents at his London headquarters. In securing these first pictures since his arrival in this theatre of operations, we also have the first newsreel message from the leader of the Second Front. In taking up the new duties assigned me by the Combined Chiefs of Staff, I am highly gratified that my command is still an Allied one. The past year has seen a tremendous advance in our progress toward final victory. In the Mediterranean, all ranks have fought with exemplary fortitude, courage, and effectiveness. In the United Kingdom, our navies and our air forces have been delivering blows against the enemy that are gradually weakening his combat effectiveness. On the Russian front, the great and gallant Red Army have made tremendous inroads against the Nazi. In effect, the stage is being set for the beginning of the great and crucial test all over the world. I have complete confidence that the soldiers, sailors, and airmen, and all the civil populations of the United Nations will demonstrate once and for all that an aroused democracy is the most formidable fighting machine that can be devised. 